The number one killer of revenue in your sales team is decision fatigue. When your team is bombarded with countless choices throughout the day, like who to call next, who to follow up with, what notes to take, how to handle an objection, and they ultimately make no decision at all. And their ability to make effective decisions diminishes. This fatigue that you're experiencing often leads to slower response times, missed opportunities, and ultimately a drop in revenue. Closed CRM SmartView feature allows you to build a foolproof day-to-day -day process where you see no leads slipping through the cracks if you do it the right way. My name is Sam, I'm with the Closed Doctor team, and over the last six years, I've built well over 100 custom closed CRM accounts. And in this video, we're gonna cover my top five smart views for more efficiency, more visibility, and more deals. The number one smart view I wanna share with you guys is called a dial party. Now, a dial party is exactly what it sounds like. It's a party where you make some dials with your team. And if you have multiple team members that can make dials in the dial party smart view at the same time, you can make hundreds, if not thousands of calls a day depending on the size of your team. Just check out this closed account here where over 90% of the reps are making over $100 a day. A dial party smart view is one of the best because it allows you to put multiple people in the dialer at the same time and leverage closed CRM's predictive dialer. By selecting the call dropdown, hitting manage, and then toggling your options on to set up predictive dialing, if you have multiple people in the dialer, you'll actually be able to call at a higher multiple of one lead to one person. You may find that two people inside of the the dialer are calling three people at once or four people at once. And if you can find a way to stay inside of one smart view in the same dialer, you could even find yourself making three or 400 dials a day. In this case, for this dial party smart view, we're showing that total number of phone numbers is some, so only put leads inside of here that have a phone number. Total number of outgoing calls is less than four, so once we hit five phone calls, that lead will disappear from this view. The last call is not today, so that means they will receive one call call a day and they will receive one call a day up until five days. And we have an additional filter for statuses. Current status is not do not call, already signed up, a bad fit, bad data, not interested. Obviously, if we've already dispositioned the lead, we want to remove them from the dial party. We filter out for custom activities we know wouldn't exist inside of this process. And additionally, we want to check to make sure that the last communication direction isn't incoming because that would mean someone has replied to our efforts. And if they've replied to our efforts, they're in our inbox right now and they should not be in the dial party smart view. The second category of smart views I want to highlight for you guys for more efficiency in your day-to-day -day would be a closer day-to-day -day group of smart views. Close doesn't offer folders for your smart view setup yet, so you're going to want to use naming conventions or even add emojis to categorize. This little closer smart view that I show here is just an email activity matching all of F. It just allows me to create a random smart view, name it, and label it like this, and then I can put emojis and numbers on the left-hand side to categorize as well. When you have new sales reps come into your organization and you share all of these smart views across with them, they're gonna be probably in like a cluttered, disorganized manner. So by numbering them and labeling them like this and putting this inside of your SOPs that, hey, this is how you should organize your smart views when you log into your account for the first time, you're gonna make their day-to-day -day a lot easier. You're gonna remove a lot of that decision fatigue. So in this case, we have a today's call smart view, which is showing that a strategy session booked custom activity exists where date of call is today and I'm the lead owner. Now, what I'm referring to there is these custom activities, which is just our sales process mapped in the form of custom activities. Custom activities are forms. We know strategy sessions have to do with our closers. So if I look in the strategy session booked custom activity, which would get filled out when a strategy session is booked from Calendly or OneSub automated. That's why we put the little robot emoji in here to show the lead owner, the date book, and the data call. And when I bring that information into a custom activity, I can filter for it and then I can build smart views like this. And you're going to see that these custom activities are going to be the backbone of a lot of our smart views. So if you want a full training on how to build custom activities, you're going to want to check out the video on your screen here. We can see that we then have an upcoming call smart view where there's a strategy session booked on the lead owner and the date of call is after today. Now this closer lead owner me filter is really important when you're building smart views because if I were to choose an actual user in this view, I would have to then make that smart view over and over and over and over again for everyone on my team. But if I want to set up my CRM to be scalable and grow with my team and not have to do all of this admin work and set up 
every single time. You wanna make sure that that lead owner is just me. And then when someone logs in, as long as you've shared the smart view across the entire account, then it will become visible for everyone. We also see we have leads to follow up with, long-term follow-ups, overdue opportunities. If we look at overdue opportunities, we see that there's a strategy session completed. We said the projected close date was before today. I'm the lead owner and the opportunity stage is matching current status of completed. An additional way you could build this would be to remove these statuses and filters and add a filter for opportunity or date of status is before and you could go today. And then you could do your current status is in your sales pipeline and whatever stages would be relevant to where an opportunity would be overdue. In this case, it would most likely be in our SS completed stage, which is what we're showing there. You're gonna find that when you're building smart views, there's probably 50 different ways to build a smart view. And how you approach building that smart view is all going to be set and based on the principles or the foundations in which you approach building your CRM in the first place. So you wanna make sure you bring clean data in, you wanna make sure you keep that data clean. And by keeping that data clean, then these processes will work and function. None of these smart views work if my automation is broken top of funnel on how I bring the data in for a book call. None of these smart views work if I don't get a sales rep to actually follow the process and what their day-to-day -day looks like. So over at Close Doctor, we use something called the pill. It guarantees us sales process adoption so we can make the coveted data based decisions and actually scale based on the feedback that we're getting from our process. The pill can be installed directly inside of your CRM, providing you all of your SOPs and training material in the CRM. No Google Docs, no Loom videos, no Google Drives, no Slack channels where SOPs get lost. You don't have to come back to our YouTube channel for training. And we install this at a very high level inside of our client accounts. But if you're looking for our base model with all of our closed CRM trainings for free inside of your CRM, we've got the ability to install it for free for five people per month only and i'll leave a link down in the description below so you can join that wait list people ask me all the time sam do you have a course no i don't have a course but i do have the pill now the third group of smart views i'm going to share with you guys are going to be what are setter day-to-day -day smart views and they're not the same as closer day-to-day -day smart views a setter may be hanging out in that dial party smart view that we talked about but a setter is also working in their part of the sales process so all of our closer based smart views had to do with our strategy session booked or completed or not completed custom activities and all of our setter based smart views have to do with our triage call booked custom activities and you also notice there's no overdue opportunities to follow up with and their day becomes a lot more compact on what they need to be doing because the setter is oftentimes focused on making a lot of dials making a lot of touch points spending a lot of time on the phone so in an effort to remove the decision fatigue throughout their day we want to give them less options and how they're going to operate throughout their smart view the four Fourth category of smart views that you guys are going to 1000% want inside of your account are going to be what I call process check smart views or our manager day-to-day -day smart views. And we show those inside of this account here with the manager title and the rocket ship emojis. You can also see that there's a couple process check smart views inside of the closer day-to-day -day and setter day-to-day -day, like a needs post-call activity. And what this shows is that there's a strategy session booked. I'm the lead owner. The date of the call is before today. So that call has passed and I did not fill out a custom activity to say the call was completed or the call was not completed. And because I didn't fill that out, the lead status didn't update, the opportunity status didn't change, I didn't take notes, I didn't get the data in our dashboard, I can't get the metric in our next reporting meeting. Everything breaks down when process doesn't get followed. So if I take myself out of the lead owner here, I can see there's two leads will come into this profile here. Or if I filter my activities, I can see there was a strategy session booked. The date booked was before today, two days ago. And we didn't take notes and say what happened with this lead. So all we would have to do is fill out a strategy session completed form or a strategy session not completed form. And as soon as we do that, that lead would actually disappear from the smart view. And the glory in that is, is if you're building reporting, like these beautiful dashboard that you see on your screen, here, which you can also grab down in the link in the description. It's free. It's a template I use for teams that have setters and closers. But a dashboard like that, when it's automated, if you're automating it off of the custom activities being submitted, or you're automating a workflow off a custom activity being submitted, or a lead status change, or an opportunity pipeline stage, or the next smart view that leads can enter into, if you don't follow the process or have these process checks in place, all of that breaks down. People think, well, if I can just automate every step of my process, or if I can build a workflow, for this step of the process, but you don't follow the step preceding that right before that, that makes that automation or that workflow take place, then the automation or workflow that you build doesn't matter. So that's what these process check smart views should serve. 
What is a process check smart view? You have a process, it's supposed to be followed. Cool, you write your SOP. How do you write an SOP? You take what you're doing and you write it down. It's that simple. Or you use something like the closed doctor pill. And if you have an SOP, you need an SOP check. You need a sales process check. And it doesn't have to feel like you're micromanaging your sales reps with these sales process checks. We've learned that if you start your sales meetings and you have your sales reps report on the previous day's numbers, I made 150 dials, I spent three hours on the phone, I closed two deals, and I have seven leads in my number seven smart view, then they are going to say themselves where their process is breaking down in front of their peers on the sales meeting. And we found that it's a very good way to actually kick off sales meetings so you don't have to find yourself fumbling over your words or where to start. And it's a great way to increase the accountability of sales reps over themselves. And the fifth category of smart views that you're going to want to have in your account, specifically for more visibility, are gonna be what are reporting smart views or smart views that are important to you to know metrics or stats. Close is going to be wonderful with their native reporting on activity-based metrics. How many leads were created? How many opportunities were created? How many dials did you make? What was the duration of those dials? But depending on your account structure, what information you're going to wanna to get, you may not be able to understand or see the data that you're looking for, but you can if you built a foundation that allows a smart view to be used to get that. If I go to my reports tab and I look at this week and I add a tile of strategy session books, I can see you know, three strategy sessions book that come up inside of this demo account. But those are calls that were booked this week, not necessarily calls that are taking place this week. So if you want to see the information on the calls that are taking place this week, you can't get that in Close's native reporting with this account structure. Depending on what calendar tool or integration you're using, you might be able to use Close's meetings function to get that kind of stat. But take the principle that I'm teaching here when it comes to using smart views for reporting. And that is if I went to the leads tab to add filter, I go to custom activities, I look at strategy session booked, and I'm logging the date of the call. And I want to do the date of the call here is this week. I see that I actually get five results inside of this account. And I think the date of the call is very important when it comes to a sales metric and the date of the call actually being booked is very important when it comes to a marketing metric and they're different things. So there you have it, our top five categories of smart views that you should have inside of your closed CRM account for more efficiency. And if you ultimately are looking to prevent 100% of your leads from slipping through the cracks and you like this video, you're going to love the private training that we have linked down in the description below where I will teach you exactly how to do that. Prevent 100% of your leads from slipping through the cracks 100% of the time. Thanks for coming to hang out with me as always and happy closing.